The Museum of Discovery and Science is proud to bring you Wise Bodies, an innovative HIV AIDS awareness and prevention program presented by AIDS Healthcare Foundation. I'm Russell Walker, I'm the Senior Director of Operations at AHF for the Southern Bureau. Um, I am a current user of PrEP and that means I am still luckily HIV negative. If you have sex with someone and then you find out within the next 72 hours that they're HIV positive and you didn't know previously, that you can like go to the hospital and they'll try to give you something that will make sure that you don't like permanently contract it, is that true? If you had sex with a person the night before and they happen to tell you, hey, I'm actually HIV positive, totally forgot to tell you, we were just having so much fun. What you can do is go to the hospital, they have something called PEP, and you can also come to AHF depending on the hours, but we have PEP for free. And essentially what it is, it's like a plan B, but for HIV. So you can use it to protect yourself from HIV. It will block the HIV virus from coming into your body, but you have to use it within 72 hours. It has to be within 72 hours. So think of it like this. PEP, which is post-exposure prophylaxis, is like the plan B, and that includes Tivocate and Truvada for 28 days, and PrEP is like the birth control, and you just take one tablet every day before you get exposed. PrEP is pre-exposure prophylaxis. So it is a medication that you could take every single day to prevent getting HIV. So you can take the medicine every day, and then whether or not you're safe, you're protected from getting HIV, okay? And PEP um, is post-exposure prophylaxis. So, oops, you were using a condom and it broke. Um, you have 72 hours to go get a prescription filled and get started on taking a medication for a whole month to prevent maybe that HIV if you were exposed from actually infecting you. So an another reason why people would use PEP is, for example, if, if you were raped, then you have that chance to prevent HIV. PEP is a good way to do that because you have Preferably within 12 hours you get there to get medicines and the ERs should be able to give you that, but um, up to 72 hours to get started for that month of protection. In my opinion, anyone who's having sex would be a perfect candidate for PrEP. And that means pre-exposure prophylaxis. If you are engaging in high-risk sexual activity with someone who has HIV or you don't know their status, you can take this medication once a day to prevent you from getting HIV. Let's say you don't have insurance. There's a lot of resources out there that can allow you to get it at no cost. And again, it's very important to always use a condom because PrEP only prevents you from contracting HIV. It does not prevent you from getting sexually transmitted diseases such as gonorrhea, chlamydia, or syphilis. The PrEP one, you would just take that anyway if you felt like the need to, or would you mostly just do that if you were partnered with someone who had it? Most people are using PrEP just because they're socially dating people and they may get intimate with people and it might be more than one person or just one person, but they don't know their status. Um, you know, if you're going to college, that happens. And so um, I've, I've given PrEP to a, a lot of teenagers who, um, are going off to college and are gonna start experimenting sexually and they never know what situations they can find themselves in and if they think they're high risk for potentially finding themselves in an HIV situation, um, PrEP is the way to go. So we have two options here for PrEP. We have Descovy and we have Truvada. Both of these medications are actually indicated for men. It takes about seven days for either one of these options to reach the level to prevent HIV. So now, when it comes to women, this is the only option called Truvada. This is the only FDA approved option. So it takes about 20 days for this specific one to reach the enough concentration in the vaginal tissue to prevent HIV. As long as you're taking it every day consistently, you will be able to prevent HIV 99% chance effectiveness. As someone who takes PrEP, um I began taking PrEP about four and a half years ago and during one of the studies um, and trials for uh, Descovy. It was important to know firsthand, you know, the benefits and also potential side effects of being on PrEP. Personally experienced no side effects from it, but I know that there are some for some people of nausea, diarrhea, you know, general side effects by the sounds of things. Um, Personally, I've been very lucky and not had any. I couldn't advocate for something as a tool if I wasn't personally doing it myself. So that was basically why I took PrEP. I continued to take PrEP um, and it has been very simple. 
our administration has an ending the epidemic initiative by 2030 going on. So what does that mean? Everybody has to get tested. Getting tested is so important to avoid spread in the community. And let's say you get tested and you're negative and you're still engaging in these risky behaviors, I advise that you get on PrEP. Your doctor can prescribe it for you and you can prevent HIV that way. I'm a HIV doctor. Um, that's what I've done my entire career. I've taken care of over, over a thousand young people, adolescents, youth, young adults, and babies. Um, and one of the things you want to make sure is that you don't have to come into my office, that you don't have to come in to see me or another doctor that takes care of people with HIV. There are plenty of things that you could do so you never have to see us. Um, you can use a condom, get tested so you know your status. You can access post-exposure prophylaxis if you run into an emergency where you think you might have been exposed to HIV, remember, in the first 72 hours. You can do PrEP, which is pre-exposure prophylaxis, and take a pill a day um, to prevent HIV. So you want to do everything possible to avoid having to come in and talk to me, because the last thing I want to do is tell you you're HIV positive. We have resources, whether it's PrEP, whether it's the incredible advocacy and legislation that AHF is performing, or whether it's the discussions that you can have in your classroom, be a part of the team that is helping to eradicate HIV.